Bars and restaurants, they are gearing up for this Friday. That's when liquor sales go from state run to private. But with many things still up in the air, the prices and selection at your favorite watering hole could feel the sting of this transition. KXY4's Aaron Luna joins us now live. Aaron, what do uh, bar owners think was going to happen? Some bar owners tell me that they'll probably have to raise prices. Others say it's way too early to tell. It seems the consensus, though, is that it's a shot in the dark on what exactly to expect come June 1st. It's shots all around at the side bar and grill in Spokane, but come Friday, it could cost you more to make that fireball isn't as smooth as I'd like face. They've hinted it up, not much, but up. Sidebar owner Michelle Hare says with the transition from state run to private liquor stores, many distributors haven't figured out exact prices. We're still waiting, so we're still waiting to see what happens, but trying to stay optimistic and hopefully um, they stay around where they are now. She says that doesn't look great, and if prices go far enough up, she'll have to pass along the cost. We don't want to do, um, you know, we think we have great competitive prices right now and we'd like to keep them that way. Across the river at Zola in downtown Spokane, the band starts tuning up. The bar owner will also have to do some fine tuning on his books next week. It's going to take a few weeks before we can really grind out the numbers. This is the first time Zola has ordered liquor from anyone but the state-run stores, and the first time the bar ordered without knowing the final cost. I have a baseline of what it's going to cost, but of course, uh, as of right now, we can't do strong inventory totals on whether it's going to be how, this much or that much. While it could take months to get things flowing smoothly again. As it sits right now, we're not changing our prices. Bars are hoping customers take a sip of patience and a shot of trust that they'll be taken care of in the end. The state has already started closing down most of its liquor stores. Come the 31st, there'll only be three left here in Spokane. Reporting live downtown air in Luna, KXOY4 HD News.